Hey guys, here are two and review the Lee Pin Leglick Marvel Superheroes Black Panther Royal Talent Fighter. So, this is the box itself right here, and as you can see, it's recommended for J6 and up and comes with 401 pieces. And this is set 07099, comes with four mafix, and the four mafix are Black Panther, Nakia. Killmonger and Ulysses Claw. So the boxer itself uh, is pretty cool. You have the Leapin logo at the corner, and yeah, the box art here. You have the city background. So this is the top of the box. Uh, it shows you all of the mafix and does have a handle right here, which is definitely great. And uh, it shows you the actual size of Black Panther. So this is the side of the box. Just shows you the art of uh, Black Panther. And this is the other side of the box. Just shows you the front box. This is the bottom. Just shows you all of the warnings and stuff like that. So this is the back of the box right here. It shows you all of the mafix in action and shows you all of the features of the Royal Talent Fighter. So that's pretty much it for the box. So inside the box does come with a long tray. So this is the instruction manual right here. As you can see, this is the front. Pretty normal. And this is the first page. You have numbered backs and you have this cellophane tape right here, which is where the sticker is supposed to be. And yeah, I kinda tear it. So that kinda sucks. But yeah, this is the final page of the build. No ads at the back though, but you just have the back of the box thingy. So yeah, let's have on that, that's pretty much it. So the first main figure right here is Black Panther. So uh, his headpiece here, you know, is uh, pretty cool. You have this uh, top ear part, and the uh, face print right here looks pretty cool. You have the eyes, you have the mask design. Does have back head printing. Um, it is very similar to the Black Panther head from uh, Civil War. And uh, the torso here, you have his necklace, you have the suit design with this kind of um, uh, texture at the back. You can see it and yeah it looks pretty cool and uh, the suit design is really great and this is the back you have the back part of the necklace and you have the suit detailing with the texture so yeah aside from that that's pretty much it for black panther and the second figure right here is nakia so she's armed with two of her disc blades and um, you know, it's definitely great that Lee Pin made the mold for them. You know, they look really cool. So, she does have this uh, short hair piece, which is a nice piece. You have uh, this face right here, which is this kind of confident face. And you have this kind of smiling face. And uh, her torso print here, you have the this suit design right here. I believe this is the Dora Milaje outfit. And you know you have the this necklace half thing right here. You have um, the belt with this panther symbol in the middle. Um, you know this is the back torso print. Looks pretty cool. You have the more of the suit detailing. You have the back of the belt. You have this black line in the middle. You have the this kind of white design. And yep, yeah, aside from that, that's pretty much it for Nakia. And the third minifigure right here is Killmonger. So he's armed with uh, this rocket launcher type thing with uh, this flick missile. And you have this kind of aiming thing with the red stud. And you know, you can flick it or you can just push it and it does fire. So that's great. Um, so for Killmonger right here, he does have his helmet. Which is great that Lee Pin molded the helmet. You know, the helmet it looks pretty cool. And, um, you know, you have the prints on the front. And uh, you have these horns, tough thing, or ears right here. But unfortunately, the helmet here is a little bit loose. Um, it's very easy to fall off. But um, under there, the face, you have this empty expression. And the torso print, you have this uh, suit right here with the zip in the middle. You have the straps. You have these tan parts at the side. And for the leg detailing, you have uh, some pouches or some pockets and you have this back torso detailing with this armor 
detailing and uh, two of these straps right here so yeah but aside from that that's pretty much it for Killmonger last but not least this is Ulysses Claw so uh, he's armed with his uh, sonic arm cannon which uh, is just this gauntlet piece with this lightning piece and you can remove it pretty easily so um, for the head right here you have this empty expression with his beard and you have uh, this Bruce Wayne hair which is cool um, and it's from the Batman movie Batcave set and um, for the alternate expression this is the angry expression so that's nice and for the torso detailing you have this necklace right here you have the the suit detailing with some buttons yeah you have some wrinkle and there's no leg detailing but there is back torso detailing with this uh, kind of belt or strap thing right here and yeah but nothing else too interesting on the suit so that's pretty much it for Ulysses Claw so this is the Royal Talon Fighter itself right here so let's start with the side so the side you have uh, these fins right here um, they are in gunmetal gray which is a very nice color and I believe they are first introduced in the Ninjago series and um, they are connected by these Technic axle pieces so um, they can't really move uh, except for the front one which you can kind of move around since it's just a wing piece and you know um, it's clipped on there so yeah uh, and here you have uh, this quarter pyramid piece with this uh, cheese slope in the transparent and yeah you have uh, this very nice uh, white stripe design you know looks pretty cool and yeah it's um, two stickers uh, so the other side it's also the same and the front here you have uh, these two cheese slope and you have this very nice canopy piece in translucent black and you have uh, this very nice sticker over here as well and you have uh, two of these arch pieces and under there you can see you got these stud shooters which is nice and you also have uh, these transparent one by two you have two of these uh, winglets next to the uh, canopy piece you can just put them in this position and you can still open the canopy uh, and I'll show you the interior later um, so here you have uh, this kind of rail piece there's uh, two of them you have this crab door you can open the crab door with this handle here uh, and I'll show you what's inside later but you have uh, two of these Nexo shield pieces with stickers on them and you have these uh, grill pieces and the back here you have uh, these wings which you can move around but they are supposed to be in this position um, you don't really have to adjust them or, in, or anything like that but you have uh, more of these grail pieces and at the back you have uh, this cruster top thing they are just grail pieces with uh, purple plate pieces at the back so that's cool and you have this frame piece right here which is nice but it falls off very easily because it's only connected by two studs so yeah that's that and so this is the bottom uh, you have these transparent pieces which kind of raise up the ship and you have uh, two of these landing gears which uh, help slant the ship forward because in the movie this craft here is supposed to be in this position it's supposed to be slanted forward because the ramp is back here so yeah um, it's part of the design but um, this landing gear here you have this gray and black sticker design and you can move it around it's clipped on and uh, at the front here you have these stud shooters which um, you have this uh, gray and black design sticker and they fire blue studs so you know that's that um, yeah they don't really fire so that does kind of suck and for this one it just kind of pops out but yeah you know and also this is supposed to be a panther mask I believe 
uh, this is supposed to be the mouth, uh, this is supposed to be the eyes, and this is supposed to be the ears, and it's supposed to be like this, so, yeah, uh, so for the front canopy piece, you can just open it very easily since it's only on two of these ratcheted pieces, and inside, you do have a uh, seat for Nakia to pilot the craft, and you have uh, two of these transparent cheese slope pieces, and you have this control panel right here, which they are just stickers, and they do look really nice. And at the back here, you have uh, some storage space uh, for some accessories or weapons, um, and if you put in Nakia and put her this blades in there. So this is Nakia inside the craft here, um, as you can see she sits in there pre pretty nicely, it's just that uh, there's not enough headroom in this craft here, so you need to lean uh, everyone down, um, and if you put her like this, um, yeah, there's not enough room for, uh, for anyone, but um, you can put her accessories at the back, you know, and yeah, uh, the problem with uh, this is that if you p put the figure in there too tightly, and if you try to remove her, um, her legs might get stuck, which is a little bit annoying, um, and does take a, li a little bit of effort to get the figure out. Uh, but yeah, that's just that. Um, so let's uh, take a look at the back compartment which is this prison compartment so in there uh, there's really nothing too interesting you, you just have uh, this prison bar and you can put in like Killmonger, Ulysses Claw or Black Panther and you know uh, so let's uh, put in Killmonger but if you want to put in Killmonger um, you need to remove his helmet since it's just way too big and there's not enough headroom in there and I'm not even sure how you can fit two figures in there. Maybe you can cry to kind of throw them in, but it will be a very tight fit. Um, but yeah, here you can just uh, throw in his helmet, and he sits in there pretty nicely. But uh, another problem with uh, this craft here is that if you push this thing too hard to the ground, these landing gears, they will come off, um, so that's kind of annoying. But aside from that, that's really it for the Royal Talon Fighter. So, overall conclusion of this set here, so how do I think of it? Well, I think the quality control of the set here is pretty good. I mean, the figures here, they are great. Um, they have very nice prints and Leapin made all of the molds as well, which is definitely great, including uh, this, uh, this blade and also this uh, uh, Killmonger helmet or mask mold. Um, but it's just that this mask here is um, way too loose. Uh, maybe they could have made it more tighter and... Yeah, uh, but you know, it, it's still definitely great that they made the mold for this. And for the build itself, I think the build here, it looks great. And you know, the stickers here, they are really nice. And um, the entire build here uh, feels great. Uh, it's just that, you know, you, you do have some pieces popping off. Uh, like this frame piece, it pops off when I, you know, kind of hit here. And yeah, it pops off very easily. And also this uh, bottom part here with uh, this landing gear. When it's landed and I push on it, uh, it will kind of detach off. So that does kind of suck. But you know, I mean, overall, I think this set here is a um, really nice copy of the original set. Um, the original set, the price of the original set is pretty good. But if you if you can't afford that. Um, I think Leapin is a um, good way to go, um, you know, the, the quality of this is pretty good, so overall I do recommend you getting this if you want it, and yeah, uh, this is an awesome set. So, buy links for this set here down in the description box below, along with all my social media pages down in the description. So, if you like my channel, make sure to subscribe right here and watch more videos right here. So, that's it for the video, thanks for watching, and I'll see you very soon.